If I were you, before you even put your feet on the floor in the morning, or certainly do it within a few minutes after you're up, open your mouth and say, something good is going to happen to me today. And don't stop there. Don't stop there and go on and make the enemy really mad and say, and something good is going to happen through me today. Something good is going to happen to me and something good is going to happen through me because we are blessed to be a blessing. Don't stop at just wanting to be blessed. We're blessed to be a blessing. God told Abraham, I will bless you and I will make you a blessing, causing you to dispense good to others. When you get up each morning, take time to thank God for the day. Don't just rush out of the house all stressed out. Start the day off with a grateful attitude. All through the day, meditate on His promises. Keep your mind filled with thoughts of hope, faith, thoughts of victory. Hope is very simply a positive attitude and mindset. The hopeful person absolutely refuses to be negative in any way. Although they recognize and deal with their problems, they remain hopeful in thought, attitude, and conversation all the way through to victory. You can decide today to be full of hope. Jeremiah said, for I know the plans I have for you, saith the Lord. They're plans for good and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. So what is hope? Hope is based on the substance of what God has done in the past and can do for you today. We have a hope that is built on Jesus Christ, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. We have a hope that is anchored to the rock of ages. We have a hope that is based upon the word of the living God. Hope achieves the impossible. Your life will be more rewarding, more fulfilling when you're in relationship with your creator. God breathed his life into you. He knows what your purpose is. He knows what you can accomplish. When you make him a part of your life, you will go further than you can in just your own ability, your own talent. The scripture says, if you'll put God first, he will crown your efforts with success. His favor on your life will take you where your talent could not take you. I want you to make a decision today that it's time for you to learn how to live the life that Jesus died for you to have, to let go of the things that are behind, and to start fresh and to ask God to take everything that's ever been done to you that was unjust or immoral and somehow work it out for your good and turn it into something that can actually help other people. You could be at the lowest place in your life right now you could be hurting so bad, maybe your husband or your wife has walked out on you, or you may just feel like that your whole life is over and little do you know, it may just be beginning. And let me just say this to you, you have no idea the amazing things that God has planned for you. There's no devil in hell that is big enough to keep you from the best that God has for you if you're determined to have that best and if you will do your part. I want you to make a decision today that you are not gonna live your life wounded and broken. No matter where your life takes you, your choices, your behavior, your actions, your decisions, no matter what happens in life, what role you find yourself for, God has the power to put that butt in place. He was broken. He used to be this. She used to be that. But something new is about to happen now. This is a new day. God is breathing new life back into your spirit. Dare to take hold of his strength. Get your passion back. When you feel weak, start declaring, I am strong. If you'll do this, I believe and declare, you will run and not be weary. God is renewing your strength so you can soar like the eagles. Health is coming, courage is coming, freshness is coming. Everything else will disappoint you. 
But God will never disappoint you. He will never fail you. St. Paul writes in Romans 15, 13, May the God of hope fill you with joy and peace so that you may overflow with hope. God put you on this earth for a specific purpose. You have a divine destiny with unlimited potential. You have blessings that you cannot contain. The favor of God is in your future above anything that you can imagine. And that is according to the Word of God. You have to believe it's possible for you before that can become a reality. Nothing is impossible with God. Remembering yesterday's tragic mistakes cripples your ability to hope for tomorrow. Stop rehearsing your mistakes. When you read this book, it's not a book about perfect people. It's a book about human failure on a scale that makes the worst among you look like a badge-winning Boy Scout or Girl Scout. Moses was a murderer. He killed the Egyptian. God used Moses to lead the Jewish people out of Egyptian bondage. Stop swimming in the sludge of your past mistakes. You're a child of the living God. You are the royal blood of heaven is flowing in your veins. You need to square your shoulders, lift your head, smile again, act like it, think like it, talk like it. As long as you have the courage to try again, there is hope. As long as you're willing to love again, to believe again, to start achieving again, there is hope. To say there's no hope for you is to slam the door of faith in the face of God. Nothing is impossible with God, not even the worst failure of your life. The darkest page that you have amazes God. Your rap sheet in heaven is boring reading to God. Some of you are burdened with a crushing sense of guilt, of shame, a lack of self-confidence, a lack of beauty, a lack of brains, a lack of of brawn. Stop it. If you had been the only one on earth, Jesus Christ would have died to save you. I want you to stop the brooding and the self-pity and the complaining and the misery rehearsing things that you've been going through that constitute all of your personality. Wake up a new person. The best is yet to be. Dreams still come true. Your dreams can come true. Nothing is impossible to those that believe. If I could get you to believe that, your life would flip-flop in one day. Nothing is impossible to those that believe. That means no matter what you face, no matter how big the difficulty, no matter how long it's taking, you know God is still on the throne. You know His plans for you are for good, that He's bigger than any challenge. You may not have any reason in the natural to be hopeful. It doesn't look like you'll get well, or meet the right person, start your business. Don't put your hope in your circumstances. They may not turn out the way you thought. Don't put your hope in people. They may let you down. Don't put your hope in your career. Things may change. Put your hope in the Lord, in the God who spoke worlds into existence, in the God who flung stars into space. When you have your hope in Him, the Scripture says you will never be disappointed. And sure, you may go through some temporary setbacks, life will happen, but when it's all said and done, you'll come out better than you were before. God did not breathe His life into you, crown you with favor, give you a royal robe, so you could go around anchored to bitterness, anchored to doubt, anchored to worry. He created you to be anchored to hope to go out each day expecting His goodness, knowing that the days ahead are greater than the days we leave. Keep the right perspective. That sickness can't defeat you. That addiction is temporary. The right breaks are already in your future. You may have had some disappointments. Life threw you a curve. That cannot stop your destiny. The odds may be against you, but the Most High God is for you. When you stay anchored to hope, He'll show out in your life ways you've never imagined.